Hi, this is Jonathan Ingram from Cinch here. In this video, we'll take a look at SAP Service Cloud with the Agent Desktop integrated with Cinch Contact Pro. This is the Agent Desktop showing what's important for this agent, such as service KPIs, open service tickets, and other relevant data. We can open the Cinch Contact Pro's agent user interface here. This is the communication panel where the agent can handle all of the customer's communications, whether it's a phone call, different types of chat, or also emails. The communication panel is a floating window on top of Service Cloud. It can be freely moved as well as resized. A supervisor or manager can assign agents to different queues based on need. As an agent, I can see which queues I've been assigned to. I can see how many contacts are waiting in each of these queues, how long they've been waiting, as well as how many other agents are signed in and free. I can set myself to ready, and now I'm ready to be pushed new conversations. Here's an incoming call from the customer. This customer is already in SAP Service Cloud, so they're automatically identified, in this case, based on the phone number. We can also choose to preview the customer's data in Service Cloud before we accept the call. We can minimize the communication panel to focus on the customer data. Here we see the customer's details on the left. In the center, we have the timeline, showing the interactions with this customer. If the call was recorded, we see a link here. If we click on this, it opens the communication panel so we can listen to the call recording. We can also open the transcript of chat messages, for example, this SMS here, and the transcript opens on the right pane. So the timeline is a list of all of the interactions we've had with this customer. We can pop the communication panel on top if we want to take actions like putting the call on hold, muting, or transferring to a colleague. An administrator can define whether the call recording is always on, whether it's only on for certain queues, or whether the agent's allowed to start and stop recording themselves. I can use scripting, for example, to collect information about why the customer called in. So let's say this call was about sales, the customer's interested, and also they're happy. We can also set up interactive scripts which guide an agent through a call. If needed, I can also hop to other channels whilst I'm on this phone call. This has the advantage of being able to send more information, such as website links, which can't be sent via a normal phone call. Now we can send the customer a short message just to say we're confirming your order. This is also a two-way SMS conversation, so the customer can reply to this. Reply templates are a very useful way to answer the customer's frequently asked questions. So we can send an SMS to the customer with the website link using this reply template. And this is whilst we're still being on the phone call with a customer. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.